You clicked on this video, so chances are that you're worried about your essay topic, and it might be about something that seems to be an overused topic, like writing about your family, your immigrant story, sports, or a sports injury maybe. After having edited so many essays and having read so many of your stories, I'm here to give you my two cents on bad essay topics. Notice the air quotes because I honestly don't think there is such a thing as a universally bad college essay topic. I have seen way too many videos and articles about the worst college essay topics. So we're about to tackle this misconception, but before we get into the details, I do want to caveat with the fact that your essay shouldn't be a list of accomplishments. It shouldn't be about how you just got an A in a class because of hard work, and it shouldn't really be a place where you really put someone else down or criticize someone else heavily. You need to dig much deeper than that and honestly just write about your own unique story and invoke personal moments of growth. So I want to start with saying that you're writing your essay on an overused topic like, you know, family, sports, things I mentioned before is perfectly all right. And this is why. Taking a look at how many people are going to start college this year, it's about 19.7 million students. Out of almost the 20 million people who are about to start school, about 10 million of them are going to be full-time students. Even if we assume just 40% of that 10 million had to write a personal statement, that gives us 4.3 million essays that you're essentially competing against. The same topics are bound to show up when there are millions and millions of new essays submitted every single year for colleges. I really believe that it isn't usually the topic itself that makes for a bad essay, it's how you choose to tell the story that determines whether the essay is good or bad. If you're writing about something that's a universal theme in most people's lives, like your family for example, you need to keep these three things in mind while you write your essay. Number one, ensure that you're not using vague statements like my family made me who I am without demonstrating and showcasing how they did that. Is it because they cultivated your interest by taking you to the Kennedy Space Center when you were young? Is it because they indulged you in rewatching Jurassic Park with you like 5,000 times when you were a kid? How did they make you specifically who you are? That's what you need to address if you're gonna say things like, my family made me who I am. I'm linking a great article I found in the description box below that's kind of about this from College Vine that goes into more detail, so that might help you out. The second point is that you need to showcase your own story and your own realizations. Back those realizations up with particular examples from your own experiences in your life. Don't just state several realizations and move on. Go into depth into one or two in your essay. I chat about the biggest common app essay mistake being over contextualizing in this video linked above. If you do want this point elaborated on, definitely check that out. People make this mistake a lot, especially when they're writing their story about someone that they're related to or they're invoking their experience with their family within their own journey. They spend way too much time over contextualizing about their family members and other people that aren't you. And you don't want your essay to be context about other people. You want to give the reader context and then you want to move on straight to personal growth. The only reason context is even a thing is because you need to give them some sort of detail. You need to show them the experience before you go into what you learned from that experience. But honestly, you need to minimize context and focus on yourself. My last point is basically a question. When you read your essay, does it look like an essay that someone else out there can write too? And if it does seem that way, it means that your essay is too vague. And this is the greatest indicator to the fact that you need to add in more personal details and invoke more depth into your story. You need to personalize your essay more, and that's really just what it boils down to. Your realization points might be something that others write about too, but the evidence that backs up how that realization came to be is totally where you come in and differentiate yourself. Remember, no one has the same exact experiences and the thought process that you do, so showcase it. That's it for today. Don't forget to check out my other videos and subscribe if you haven't already. Smash that like button if you found this video helpful. Good luck with college apps and I will see you guys at my next video.